Welcome back, Sethling here. I'm back on the Minecraft server, and I've made some little improvements to my base. Uh, I've got this little shaft here, and this is kind of neat. I can just drop right down to bedrock level, and it kind of goes through a bunch of minecarts. You just fall. Uh, if you do it wrong, you could back up and catch yourself on a ledge. Anyway, so we're at bedrock level. This is where I'm going to do all my branch mining. So I've already got one branch mine. This actually goes all the way over to the stronghold, about 600 blocks. And I've just set up a bunch of uh, other places. They're spaced 10 blocks apart so that I can just come down and branch mine whenever I want and get those diamonds. <laughs> um, so it's it's pretty convenient. And then to get back up, this is kind of neat. You just look up and hold down right click. And I'm basically going from one minecart to the next until I get back up to the surface. And here we go. Just press shift to get out. So it's very quick to get up and down. And then that combined with the whole sorting system here from last episode should make it very quick to just do run after run of branch mining if I want, <laughs> if, I, if, if I don't find it too boring. And then back here I put some chests that are basically just going to hold uh, all the junk blocks because I'm going to have, I don't want all of those to go through the sorting system because it'll um, kind of take a long time. So I'm basically going to manually put those back there and then sort out all the, you know, iron ore and diamonds and whatever. Uh, into the chests here, so I've I've uh, actually got them kind of situated like I want, so they actually contain sensible things. Um, <laughs> so it's and, and it's working pretty well for me. Uh, the first thing I want to do in this episode is I want an enchanted table. I've got 33 levels and my sword's almost broken, so I want to build a little enchanting table system. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to use sticky pistons, and it's gonna, I think it's going to look kind of nice when I get all done with it. So I'm going to first put a sticky piston under each spot where I expect a bookshelf to be. And so I'm just going to do that uh, sort of one block away from the enchanting table. And then I guess I might as well just go ahead and put the bookshelves on top of those as well. And the cool thing about this is that the bookshelves have the same texture on the top as all the wood around here. So it's going to blend in and... I think it'll just look kind of cool, and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use some delay on these pistons too, so that they kind of uh, it, basically they they don't all come up at once, and I think it'll look pretty nice. So I'm just going to put a bunch of redstone dust around the edge because I'm going to need that to get the signal from the pressure plate here all the way around. So it's going to go around and around and around. Um, I think I will have to dig out a little bit to get the right delays on everything. Let me just finish up this little ring. <laughs> this is like a, I don't know, some sort of superstition demon ring or something. Okay, so <clears throat> step on the pressure plate and the signal gets all the way around here. I'm actually going to use a bunch of repeaters, so even if it didn't get all the way around, it would be fine. So one tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks. And so this is kind of what it's going to look like. And that's going to go around. I'm going to do that the same on the other side, three, oops, three and four, and then, so that doesn't reach all the way around, and I'm going to have to do something in order to get um, there to be extra delay, so I'm going to act actually have to pull this out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to use some extra redstone dust here, and we're going to have a delay, oh, no, I'm going to want it actually over here, um, a delay of four ticks. And then I'm going to have a delay of one tick there. So that's a total of five. And then now everything else along this line is also delayed by uh, by four ticks. So I'm going to put a two tick repeater in there. And then I can do three here and uh, four here. And let's see. So that should be good. The only thing is this one is also going to be at... Um, uh, the same number of ticks unless I do something, so let's go ahead and pull this out a little bit and do the same thing. Um, I have to dig out a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> uh, okay, one... Oops. Oh, no, 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 no! I didn't, I didn't mean to do it. Mm. Sad. Uh, okay, well, that, that'll just take a second to redo anyway. Okay, I'll go around, go around, go around. Ah, stupid water. Don't you know I'm recording water? I guess I'll just, while I'm here, I'll set up the extra delay thing over here as well. Okay, so this needs to come out, and 
I need this here too. Okay, so then we get four ticks of delay on here, then one, two, and three, four, same thing over here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then um, this thing. There we go. Okay, so I think that should be pretty good. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that was right. Looks pretty good to me. And so now, let's see, if I... Um, oh, I don't have a... Let me actually go ahead and craft a sword. <clears throat> and we'll make sure that it's actually level 30, because I'm not 100% sure I have the right number of bookshelves, but I think so. So if I stay in here and... Cr yep, it's level 30. And then if I step off and I try and enchant, yeah, I can get a level 1 enchantment, which is good. So let me go ahead and fill in all that, <laughs> the wood that I just took out. But everything else in here should be good. Um, and this will be this will be pretty cool. I, yeah, I want to I wanna add nice little redstone touches like this wherever I can, uh, if it'll make things look a little bit nicer. Uh, I, I don't have the greatest sense of aesthetics, so I <laughs> I won't always <laughs> I won't always know the right combination of blocks to put together and patterns in order to make things look nice. But hopefully I can make up for that with um, with the motion patterns that I can co create with with redstone. Okay, so I'm gonna put a torch under here. I don't know why, but it'll just I don't know make sure no spiders spawn there or anything. So that looks kind of cool. There's no. Uh, it, just, it looks like there's no bookshelves, then you step on here, and there you go. Oh, getting a bit of lag. Yeah, cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and enchant that sword. Uh, level 30, come on. Oh, sweet. Um, I already have a looting 2 sword, but... So I'll probably actually want to go ahead and make another sword eventually, but... Um, but that's cool to have in the meantime, because uh, I was almost out of my looting 2 sword, and I was worried about that. Alright, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and just enchant my shovel. That's a good level 1 enchantment. And my axe. And there we go. I, I like to have these iron tools. I, I don't feel like... I feel like it's kind of a waste of diamonds to use diamonds for the shovel and axe right now, but maybe that'll change over time. Alright, so this is pretty cool. I'll just add a couple torches around the edge. I don't want them to show up where the, the bookshelves are going to pop up, because then they would fall off, but... Yep. We're good. Later, MC. And I'll be back with my next thing. Alright, well, going along with the whole enchanting theme, I think I want to set up a little XP grinder in the end. Uh, a poor man's Enderman farm. Uh, so I built this little tunnel. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna... I'm sure it'll get improved. And I'm not even sure it's gonna stay in this spot in the, in the Nether Hub, because uh, currently Badge has reserved the middle space here, and it's kind of crossing through so I don't know but I built this little tunnel and I built a little end portal here I'm sorry nether portal here so that it can actually link up to the end portal and so that's pretty nice and convenient to actually get there and okay so we'll go to the end and I'm gonna try and build uh, this poor man's enderman farm so this is something I came up with a while back it's basically a very resource light and quick way to just get set up with a little XP grinder for the end and the way it works is uh, basically, you lure in the Enderman by staring at him, and then you suffocate him with pistons and get him down to one health, and then you can just punch him to death, and it's very quick. So, I don't have a lot of supplies or anything. I actually am um, a little short on uh, slime balls. I don't have a very good way to get slime balls, so... Uh, so I'm not I, I'm not gonna build a big one. I'd rather actually build a little bit bigger one with two layers, but I'm gonna build one with one layer, and I think it should be good enough for for my purposes. I think I'm gonna I think right here should be just fine. Hey, look, it's the gyms. So all right, uh, I don't have this all like planned out meticulously. I did go back and actually um, look at my video. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's clear out my hopper a little bit. I don't need all this stuff here. Hey, um, so let's see, I kind of want it so I can see all these guys too, and then they'll come and teleport up to me, so maybe I'll, I'll have it so that I'm standing right 
here. I think that'll be good. Um, so I'm going to just put down some stone bricks to mark out where I'm going to be. Uh, then I'm going to need... Let's see. Okay, so this is the part where... <laughs> okay, so basically I, I'm going to make a little two-block high ceiling here. And and that's going to basically perform or form the protective layer where the Enderman can't get to me. Um, but then I'm going to need a button up here or maybe... Yeah, I think one button is all I can afford space for. So I'm going to have a button here that will activate the system and bring down the pistons and then all the pistons are going to be around the edge here I think to do that I just need let's see the pistons are going to be yeah right um, here I think yeah because they're the blocks or no they're going to be actually one block higher uh, because um, basically there's going to they're going to have a block attached to them and the enderman need to fit underneath that so this is three blocks tall and the Enderman can fit underneath that. So I'm going to need to put um, 12 of these around the edge here. And I'm going to put a little uh, barrier in the way there. And we'll just keep going. And that'll be that'll be the basis for the system. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need three sticky pistons like that. I uh, just need the one. One, two, three. Oops. And then... Yeah, so this is just going to be a very temporary thing until there's an actual an actual thing. But uh, okay, so that should do it for for that part. I want to build a little staircase up though, because I'm going to need to get back up there. Uh, I'm going to do it a little bit um, a little bit higher tech than uh, than I did in the original video where I introduced the, the poor man's Enderman farm. I want to actually have a um, a delay circuit that man that times it out for you and actually figures out how how long you need. So uh, first thing I'll do here though is I'll get the the basic part set up and that should be very quick. Uh, out of blocks. I think I brought, brought enough with me. I might have to go back for more. Okay so let's see. I will need um, need a path up here and then it's like that. So in a sec I can actually show you what's going on. Okay so I'm in the middle here and when I push this button all these pistons get pushed down. So if I go ahead and stare at this Enderman, he's going to come over here and he's going to try and attack me. He can't attack me though. But so every time I push this, it's going to deal three damage. Four. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of loud. Okay, so every time I, I push this, it's going to deal 3 damage, but I, I don't want to have to push it a billion times, so I'm going to set up a whole repeater system to actually do this for me, and I basically want to deal 39 damage to each Enderman um, before the pistons come back up. I'm going to use a T-flip-flop and a repeater loop to basically get the exact right timing. So, uh, I think if I punch this guy, yeah. So that was 39 damage to him. <laughs> Luckily, that's a multiple of 3, so... Uh, I'm actually going to do this part off camera where I make the timing circuit because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to do it off camera and I'll be right back and I'll show you what I've got. Alright, so I've got the redstone done. I basically just ended up using a ton of repeaters and it's a little bit ugly, but it works. Uh, basically what we've got is when you press the button down there, uh, that will activate this T flip flop or it'll set the T flip flop, switch it to the other side, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so it switches it, then when this torch turns on, it sets off this huge long repeater chain. And you can see all the all the pistons are extended here. And so they would be damaging the Enderman if there were any Enderman you know, underneath them right now. And then this repeater chain ends over here by turning the T-flip-flop back off. And then you have to wait for all of these repeaters to clear out again before you can really use the system because they're going to override the button press. If you tried, if I try and press the button right now, um, you can see the torch doesn't turn on because the basically it's being turned off by this, this, this thing over here. So now it's ready to go again. So I'll hop in and we'll uh, kill some Endermen. So I'll just stare at a bunch of Endermen and they'll come over. Awesome. Get him over here, and uh, 
yeah, it's it's definitely not the most efficient thing. I think it is probably faster than using like a skeleton grinder, although I'm not really sure. I might have to test to really figure that out. But definitely got a lot of ender pearls out of that. I already have one stack just from just from using this thing one time. So here we go. Push the button. <laughs> they all make that hurt sound in unison. And it just hits them 39 times and then they die. Uh, the the kind of crappy thing though is once these guys um, once these guys die and I start punching or once they're down at one hit point and I start punching them the guys that are in the back there that are aggroed at me will start filtering in and I and I'll punch them a bit too but you can see one punch to kill all these guys very quick um, but yeah these guys were not damaged but they were still aggroed on me same with this guy and so if I use well like first of all I can't use the system again immediately because it's just gonna, like I showed before, the, the button's just gonna pop right back up. So I think I probably just need to kill them manually. Um, and that's just a caveat of how the system works. If I had more sticky pistons, I could probably make it a little bit more reliable in killing every single one of the guys that you aggro. But for now, this is what I've got, so. But got a lot of ender pearls. <laughs> uh, actually, ender pearls are something I've been looking for, um, so I can make like en ender chests and stuff like that. Um, yeah, got another few ender pearls, and that's good. Uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and and build something on top of this just to make sure endermen don't get up in the redstone. But otherwise, this should be about done. But this is gonna be a temporary building. Let me actually go ahead and label it. Um, let's see, where's the end portal? So I want to have the label facing the end portal. Seth Bling's temporary. Uh, Poor man. Is there going to be room for this? Ender... Whatever, that'll work, I guess. Poor man's in a farm. So, um, that is temporary, though. But, pretty cool. Uh, definitely going to be useful for me as I'm trying to enchant some things. Kind of... I have some pretty decent armor and gears here, but I'm still looking for, like, protection on my helmet, and um, I, I don't have a silk touch pick. It'd be nice to be able to actually enchant, like, a nice axe and stuff like that, so... Still looking for some levels, and this will be helpful for that. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I just discovered this. If I stand on the edge of the pressure plate down here, and kind of on the corner of the bookshelf, <laughs> it's like a wave. I don't know, kind of cool. Uh, so there's one last thing I want to show you. Uh, I just built this. Just finished it up. It's a wheat slash bone meal farm. So basically... It automatically dispenses everything for you. Let me just show you. Um, so I push the button to get my first seed, but then I, all I have to do is look down and hold down right click. And if you look at my hot bar, you can see the system is dispensing me bone meal, two bone meal to grow the wheat, and then one seed to replant it, and it's using a water stream to automatically harvest the crops, and it pushes it off to another location. Um, Oh, whoops. Just put these back. <laughs> uh, when you're done, you just stop and you can put stuff back. Uh, we can look in the chest here. You can see the stuff is kind of coming in from that uh, from that collection stream. And so, yeah, it's, it's really easy to use. Uh, it's not 100% efficient because two bone meal doesn't always grow wheat to full maturity. Uh, it, it looks like it has about a two-thirds chance, but I haven't really calculated it out. Here's all the redstone behind it. Uh, it's So this is a block update detector here that detects when you plant the seeds. And there's kind of a pulse length in here that, that like suppresses the block update detector for a little bit. And there's a little monostable circuit that uses a sticky piston. And that triggers the water dispenser twice. And so that's what uh, harvests the crops. And there's more repeaters over here that trigger the um, the bone meal. Let's see. No, wait. That's the something else. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, triggers the bone meal. Basically, it comes over here and triggers the bone meal droppers. And then there's another signal that goes all the way around. Uh, all the way around here. Ooh, looks like some of the things didn't quite make it. You just toss it right in the water stream. And that'll get go back up. Um, 
Yeah, there's another signal that comes all the way around here and triggers the seed dispenser with a certain delay and stuff, and that restarts the whole loop. Uh, and you can see the water collection stream over here uh, kind of comes off of... Uh, <laughs> so this is the tilled dirt in here, and there's water that pushes it all the way over here, and there's a hopper underneath the water here that collects all the items, puts them into this hopper chain, or dropper chain, whoops, this dropper chain that um, that uses a little clock, sort of like comparator to test if there's items in the system, and then it uses a clock to filter them up, and the chest that's up here, so that's how it works. <laughs> uh, so if you want to build one for yourself, you probably couldn't do it from that description, but maybe you could figure it out. Um, you know, play around, try try it for yourself uh, yeah it's pretty cool though it's gonna be useful I, I'm probably gonna set up some farms up here get you know pigs sheep cows chickens going up here somewhere so having that wheat will be nice and then also uh, the only thing you have to do to change it from a wheat farm to like a carrot farm is just take out the seeds put in carrots or whatever so I can use it for that as well so that'll be nice and convenient um, I've decided that I think I want to, for now, uh, I'm not going to build a roof or walls for my base. I will later, but for now, I basically want to have a lot of like platforms at different levels. So every everything I build in my base is going to be a different level, and I'm going to use stairs and, and these wooden platforms. And then once I have a good sense for how I want the pathways in my base to flow, then I will maybe um, I'll probably add in a roof and some walls and stuff. I'm not sure what materials or anything, but I want, it's really important to me that it's easy to get around my base. And so I don't want to have to tear down a bunch of walls and stuff every time I want to add a new pathway. So it's just really important to me that that, that all flows nicely before I get started on, on actually making it into a building. But I probably will some sometime down the road. But for now, I'm just trying to get set up with everything. All right. Well, that was a. I think that was a pretty productive episode. Got my enchanting table done here. I got the uh, little derpy poor man's Enderman farm. I got my uh, little wheat bone meal farm. Pretty cool. That's about it. Thanks for watching.